Welcome to the BitKey channel. I'm Tessa, marketing lead for BitKey, the wallet built for Bitcoin. And today I'm joined by Natalie Brunel, host of the Coin Stories podcast and author of the book, Bitcoin is for Everyone. Welcome, Natalie. Thank you so much for having me. So excited. Before we get started, could you tell us how did you first get into Bitcoin and where has that journey taken you to today? I first learned about Bitcoin in 2017, and like so many people, I initially dismissed it. I assumed because it's digital money, it can be hacked, I could lose my whole savings, and I really had to go on what ended up being a years-long journey of learning not just about Bitcoin, but really about our financial system, mm -hmm. about money, about why it's so hard to save in today's economy. and I. I came to the conclusion that Bitcoin is the solution to so many of our problems. I became very passionate about it. And I think it's incredible that today you can be your own bank and save in a form of money that no one can ever inflate or manipulate or confiscate from you. Amazing. So obviously with the work you've done for the podcast, you've had lots of experience with tons of different wallets. So probably exchange, custodial, self-custody, even cold storage wallets. What do you think are some of the biggest challenges that people face when they're trying to safely custody their Bitcoin? Well, a lot of people reach out worried that it's too technical for them. And they're intimidated by the fact that Bitcoin is something digital again. And they're worried about the seed phrase. That's right. some pushback that I always get. Oh, it's 12 or 24 words. What do I do with it? And what happens if I lose it? And so I try to make the message clear that Anyone can take self-custody, but we also need tools that make some of these things a little bit simpler for the average person. So today we're going to set you up with a brand new BitKey and we're going to have you move some Bitcoin onto it and use our inheritance feature. And then we're going to have you actually lose your BitKey and recover the whole thing to a brand new hardware device all without a seed phrase. Okay, wow. I'm ready. This okay. is important. I'm ready. Great. So as I think you know, BitKey is a two of three multi-signature wallet for Bitcoin. So there are actually three private keys protecting your money. You have one in the mobile app, one in your hardware device, and the third is held for you on the BitKey server. The primary role of that server key is to help you recover your money if you were to lose the keys that you own. So it cannot move your money without you. Okay, so here we go. Let's get you set up. There is your brand new BitKey. Here is your phone. So this has got the BitKey app, app downloaded for you. Now, it is a test version of the app, just, just so that you don't have to put in any personal details today. And we can shorten the timer on a couple of things that I'm going to show you later. Perfect. But otherwise, this is just yours to go ahead and start onboarding and see how you get on. OK, so set up a new wallet. Great. So just wake your device. And then the next thing you're going to do is pair it with your phone. So this is just activating the NFC reader on your iPhone. Super easy. And then you're going to go ahead and save your first fingerprint. So this, the reason why we have the fingerprint reader here is just adds an extra layer of protection. Once you've saved this, only you can unlock that piece of hardware. So when it comes to signing for transactions using the hardware, you have to unlock it with your fingerprint first. OK, so I've been tapping it all over. Yep, you're and good. And it finally went to green. Great. So just tap it to the back of the phone. OK, this is creating the keys that we're going to use for your account. So what they're explaining here is that we're now going to save an encrypted backup app key to your cloud. So you can go ahead and tap back up here. Now, the reason why we do this is that if you lose your phone, we can actually use that app backup, decrypt it, and then recover your phone. And because it's encrypted, your cloud provider can't use that information at all. OK. OK, so here we're going to set up an email for critical alerts. And these are important because if you need to recover your wallet, at some point there's a seven day security notification period where we're going to send you email, SMS, push messages to say somebody has tried to recover your wallet. If it's not you, then you can cancel. Okay, so this is just about other notifications. So how do you want to be notified if someone sends you Bitcoin, for example? So maybe just put the push on for now. That's great. Okay. 
Welcome to Bitkey. All right, I have my wallet. You got your wallet, you're all set up. Um, so I'll just show you a couple of things here. So if you tap on this buy button at the top, this is the flow that you could go through to buy through exchange partners. We're not gonna do this today, but just to show you, like you can choose from different exchange partners to purchase from, you choose the amount you wanna buy. You'd be prompted to log into the, the account that you have with Cash App, for example, but then you can automatically transfer to your Bitkey wallet. Okay. So it's just a really easy way to buy and immediately self-custody. Got it. So we're gonna actually send you some Bitcoin. So if you tap on that receive button, I am gonna send you some Bitcoin from my wallet using your QR code here. So I just need to scan your QR code. Great. And let's send you some money. Here we go. Okay, there you just go. Just like that. Congrats, you have some money. I have a lot of money. Can well, I keep this? I'm no, you can't keep it. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So you have now set up a two or three multi-sig wallet, moved your Bitcoin into self-custody protected by hardware in under five minutes. That's incredible. I mean, people say that this is too technical. They're worried they can't do it, but you're showing how simple it is. Yeah, absolutely. So at no point during this process have you been asked to write down a seed phrase. Right. So the obvious question is, what happens if you lose something? Yeah. So we're going to go and set up something called a recovery contact. So if you go to this shield icon at the bottom here, this is the security hub. Scroll down to the tile on the right hand side that says recovery contacts. Great. So now recovery contacts are friends or family members who can help verify you if you lose something. So we're going to set me up as your recovery contact okay. today. So just tap on invite and save my name there. You'll need to save it with your hardware. Great, so if you send the invite to me, I am gonna go into my BitKey app and accept your invite. This should be now set up. The other thing that is probably important to note is as a recovery contact, I do not have access to your wallet. Okay. I don't have your key, I can't move your money. The only thing I have is a decryption key to help recover your app backup key from the cloud if you do something. Okay, that's so, important to know. Yeah, it is important. People don't like, worry. Exactly, there's some anxiety around, oh, does this person have access to my wallet? Or the balance, that's... right. Exactly. So let's go back to your home screen now. Great, okay, so here you are, you've got your wallet. Now we want you to lose your hardware. Okay, this is gone. This is gone. All right, well, we'll put it where a lot of people lose things. <laughs> right. In the sofa. Okay, it's gone now. So like maybe you moved house or, yeah. or there was a robbery or you know something, something happened to it. It's now completely gone. Um, ordinarily, you would be scrabbling around looking for yeah. your seed phrase, It'd wondering. Stressful. It, very stressful. So like, where is it? Do I need to call the person who has it or what happened? In this scenario with Bitkey, I just want you to go into the security hub again the shield icon here and tap on BitKey device. And then scroll to the bottom where it says replace device. Now what they're explaining here is that there's a seven day security notification period. So we're gonna send you SMS, email, push notifications saying somebody has tried to recover your wallet. So if it is not you, you can then cancel it. So let's go ahead and move through here. So I am now gonna give you brand new hardware, still in its plastic. Oh there. wow, okay. And we're going to go ahead and set up this new hardware device so you can say, yes, you have a new hardware. And this is going to be exactly the same process as we started with your original onboarding. So just tap the button there, hold it to the back. That's great. And then we're going to set up the fingerprint to unlock this new hardware. So from now on, nobody else will be able to use that particular hardware. Got it. So because this is the test app, this would normally be the seven day notification period. Okay. We've just shortened it to a minute so that we can show you the full experience Got today. It. And we don't have to come back next week Perfect. and do this again. <laughs> um, but then the last step after this is we are actually gonna create a brand new set of keys for you. So then we would actually sweep the funds from your old set of keys to your brand new set of keys. So you didn't lose any Satoshis, they're gonna be transferred. Precisely, and you're gonna see it in just a second. Okay. So like we did before, this is saving the encrypted app backup key to your cloud. And then this last step is to sweep the funds 
from the old wallet to the new wallet. So there wow. is a transaction fee to do that. Okay. And now we're going to recover your money. And let's see if you go to the wallet screen. There you go. There it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you could completely lose the device and still have access to all of your Bitcoin. Yep. So what if someone gets that device? Right. So because number one, they have to unlock it with your fingerprint, but also that's a set of keys that now is not associated with your wallet. Okay. You now have a completely new set of keys. Wow. Okay. Great. Well, what if I lose both of these? So this is where the recovery contact comes in that we set up earlier. So let's go ahead and play that out. So you now no longer have your hardware. That's gone. You also no longer have your phone. Okay. They're gone. Okay. So the first thing you would do is you go down to the store and you get yourself a brand new phone like this one. And you also get a brand new hardware. So I'm going to give you another hardware device out of its plastic. There you go. Brand new hardware, brand new phone. And the first thing you would then do is set up your new iPhone and then log into your iCloud account. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the process of how to recover when you've lost both of these. It's just so surprising to think that I could have a brand new BitKey I've never used, a brand new iPhone I've never used, and still have access to my Bitcoin. Okay, I, I, need, to, I need to see this. <laughs> okay, so we're not going to start a new wallet. If you tap this button down the bottom, exactly, we're going to go ahead and restore your wallet. Now, if you still had your old hardware, you could use it here to authenticate just your new phone. Because we, have not, we haven't got either, we're going to use this button at the top. Exactly. So what this is explaining is that you now use your recovery contacts to help verify that it is actually you trying to recover your wallet. Okay. So tap on continue there. And this is where I come in. So there I am. We set me up earlier. And I am now just going to go into my recovery contacts part and I'm going to enter in the code. And then that should show you are now verified. You can continue. Okay. So this is now using the decryption key that I held as your recovery contact to recover your app key to this new phone. So this could be your spouse, your relative, exactly. a trusted friend. Someone that you trust. Okay. You can go ahead and say yes. Now, it's really important just to reiterate that I do not have access to your wallet there. I don't have the key. The only thing I have is the decryption key that helps you. Okay, got it. Okay, cool. So now we're just going to go ahead and onboard to your new hardware, exactly the same process as we did the first time. Okay, there you go. Okay, so this ordinarily would be, again, the seven day security window. Okay. So you're receiving email, SMS, push. Just to saying, make sure. This is a recovery has been attempted. Okay. And if it's not you, then you just go ahead and cancel at the top there. Okay. And then we're going to go through the next steps to create the new keys for your wallet. Okay, so confirm. Okay, so here, as before, we're backing up your app key to your cloud in case you lose it again. And now we're looking for funds. And this last step is going to be the, the sweep transaction from your old wallet to your new wallet. Just confirm at the bottom. There you go. Oh my gosh. Brand new device, brand new phone, all my Bitcoin is there. This is like really important, right? Because you lose things, right? Or something happens, you have to plan for the worst case scenarios and to know that your Bitcoin is safe. It's not actually sitting on this device, right? It's just your keys that access it and you can have your keys back. That's incredible. Yeah. So there's one other thing that I just want to show you and that is our built-in inheritance feature. Okay. So if you go to this top settings button here and go into inheritance. So this is where you would add a beneficiary of somebody who can inherit your wallet if something were to happen to you. And it is incredibly simple to set up. So if you just tap on add there and continue through these screens, so this is just explaining that in this scenario, there's a six month security waiting period. So you're going to receive email, SMS, push notifications saying somebody has made a claim on your wallet. So if in fact you are alive and well, mm -hmm. you can cancel it. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and set me up as a beneficiary for your wallet. 
So now the difference here is that I actually do need to have my own BitKey app and hardware okay. to be a beneficiary. So if we go ahead and select your, you can just save me with your hardware. Okay, great. And then if you just read back that code, I will just enter it into my BitKey app. One P R F G C one R P R. Okay. I'm going to save your name. All set. Wow. Great. That was so fast. Yeah. I mean, normally inheritance can take days or weeks. You're dealing with lawyers and trial. That's wow. Okay. Yeah. And the other thing that I think is often very difficult is, you know, you could be trying to leave behind really complex instructions for somebody who yeah. may not be that technical. Or the other alternative is you're sharing seed phrases, which just introduces another level of risk, really. Right. Yeah. No, I think about my mom and some of the folks in my family where they don't feel technical. They feel completely intimidated by devices. But this actually step by step is so fast and easy. Yeah. So, so Natalie, you have now done the full product experience with Bicky. You've set up your two or three multi-sig wallet. You have set up an inheritance benefactor. You have set up recovery contacts and you've recovered your Bitcoin to a brand new phone and wallet. How does it feel? I mean, it feels empowering. And the first word that really comes to mind is just how easy it is. And everyone's looking for convenience today, especially with things that are technical and digital. And this really makes it accessible. Um, I think a lot of people are going to benefit from the peace of mind, knowing that they can just have their cell phone, have their bit key, and always have access to their Bitcoin, even if something happens, even in the worst case scenarios. And they can also pass on their Bitcoin to their loved ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, for, for the folks maybe from your audience or watching at home, what kind of questions do you think people might have about the product that maybe is harder for us to show, you know, physically? Well, what if something happened to BitKey? Yes, that's a great question, actually. And um, it's something that we have thought a lot about. It's actually, we tend to think about it as another recovery scenario. So we've tried to be very thoughtful about all of the recovery scenarios that you as a customer might find yourself in. So we actually have a feature in the app called the Emergency Exit Kit. And it's a PDF that you download, which has a link to a page on GitHub okay. with instructions of how to download an app that's completely separate from Bitkey, does not require Bitkey to be live. And with that app, you can use the encrypted data from the PDF to then move your funds off Bitkey to any other wallet of your choice. Any other wallet. Yeah. Any other wallet. Any other questions you think people might have at home or anything I can Well, there are so many competitors out there. There are a lot of different hardware wallets and self-custody wallets. What makes BitKey so special and different? Yeah. So I think, you know, obviously the, the big USP that we sold for is the seed phrase problem. Um, so, so that feels like a very natural part of the product that is improving self-custody for people. The way that I guess we think about it for competitors is like most competitors or hardware wallets will, will kind of solve half of the problem. So like either you get a hardware signer, which has great security, but it's kind of up to you to figure out your seed phrase safety and multi-sig, or you get a multi-sig wallet that has inheritance built in, but maybe you then have to go and get hold of the hardware and set it up and learn how to use it safely. So with BitKey, we're really trying to think about the whole package, like mm. bring all of this into one place, a so secure multi-sig, protected by hardware, that's easy to use and has privacy by, de by design. Well, yeah, you get everything all in one. And I really do like the look of it. I mean, I know that's not everything, but it's got some weight to it. It feels really cool. And I mentioned this off the top, self-custody is for everyone. I think it's really important for people to take the time because anyone can do this. Yeah. Amazing. Well, look, Natalie, thank you so much for having the time with us today. I think thank this you. feels like a really nice place to wrap up. Um, so again, thank you for joining us. Um, for the folks watching at home, we are going to do a bunch more of these videos with different members of the BitKey team. So stay tuned. We've got some really exciting product developments coming up in the next few months. Do please keep telling us how we can improve the product. We love hearing your feedback. And thank you for watching.